Could you can you talk to us about your relationship with him? Yeah, man. Uh, he was he was my best friend for a long time. He started my gym when he's seventeen. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. Right. Uh, when he's seventeen, and lived in my house for a while, and uh, trained with me every day. Hilarious guy. You know, when when my son Tyler was in the hospital, he was there helping my wife and I, you know, sleep or, 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 you know, wake us up if anything happened. And, uh, we were just, we were really good friends for, for the whole time. And he came up from white to black under me and was really, really talented, man. Like probably the most uh, getting up to my son right now, probably the most talented kid I'd ever trained before. And, uh, he, he was, you know, he was, uh, he was a hothead. He was emotional, you know, hilarious, you know, but funny all the time, but also depressed sometimes and was just a little bit, you know, a little bit emotional. And uh, we had been in a, we had been in a lot of fights together where he just like instantly snap and, and uh, end up in a fight with somebody. But if he'd stand there, he'd protect me or my family or his friends, anybody like uh, instantly, you know, even more, more so than himself. And then uh, I moved here and I talked to him about a week a week before he had placed an order with Nogi and I had sent him some stuff, you know, a, a big box of clothes for his gym. He had, he had, uh, he had uh, opened a gym called Apex and, and been fighting on Marco's team in the IFL and had two wins. He was two and zero in there. And uh, just a really, just a really good dude, man, with, with tons of skill. He was like six, two real long and lanky fought at 70 and 85. Um, great striking great great jiu-jitsu and uh was married with a daughter and then his wife was pregnant with a daughter on the way and i was driving back my son tyler was racing motocross at the time and i was driving back from houston and i only lived here for god not i don't know not that long i moved here in 2006 so it was it wasn't it wasn't that long and uh a friend of mine who's uh, always a comedian you know called me and, and told me, and I was like, bro, shut up. Like, stop being, that's not even funny. And he said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Like, he, he shot himself. And it was just me and Tyler, my youngest boy. He was six at the time. And I, I had to pull over. And I cried for probably half an hour on the side of the road. Like, could not believe it. And uh, it was so wild because it, he was the kind of guy that, you know, <clears throat> you know, like five seconds later, he wouldn't have done it. You know, like he was, he was always so impulsive. <sighs> five seconds later, he wouldn't have done it. You know, he'd have, he'd have dealt with it and, and been laughing about it. And so it just sucked. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, you know, that was, that was the end of it. Then it sucked because him and his wife, you know, or, or his wife and his parents <laughs> got into a fight and they were like, holding the kids from seeing the grandparents which is like a big old <clears throat> Nogi, we did a big old fundraiser for Nogi or, or for, for his kids with Nogi and, and his t-shirts and stuff and uh, you know gave all the money to his, his mom to put in a, a trust for the for the kids and whatnot um, but it just it just sucked and even crazier we are at uh, we're at Lucas's first fight in Bellator I believe and uh, Jeremy was named Jeremy William Robert Williams. Okay. And we used to call him uh, Bill for William, Bob for Robert, and Bills for Williams. So we always call him Bill Bob Bills, just being funny. Or <laughs> J-Dub. And uh, J-Dub because Jeremy Williams. And we're backstage at Bellator. And the, the one of the commission ladies comes in. And I just said, I said, man, what he would have given to see my kid you know, doing what he's doing right now. It would have been mind blown uh, by this. And, it, it, you know, making his professional debut was with Bellator. And, and you know, he's now 5-0 in Bellator. But the commission lady comes in and sets her phone down on the table to plug it in and leaves. And right after I said that, and right after she walked out, her phone rings and the name on the phone says J-Dub. And I was just like, holy shit, man. Like, it was so crazy that... Uh, I was like, I just got chilled. I sat back. I was like, man, how wild is that? I want to answer the phone so bad, <laughs> you know. But 
uh, yeah, that was that was a that was a tough time. That was a tough time, and 